mis amigos, welcome to Batsu V Lifestyle. I'm back again for another conversation with you guys. I should really name this like Conversations with Betsy V. Or I don't know, we'll think about that later. But I wanted to make a video because many of my amigos um, have contacted me on like Twitter and they're always talking to me about friends and they're always playing with their friends and is this friend really worth it and this girl's doing that. So they're always asking for my opinion and um, I thought why not do a video because I know a lot of my viewers are young. They're still like in high school and middle school and stuff like that. Or even college a few of them have contacted me and um, I always give them advice because I love it. I love giving people advice. So I thought I'd share my knowledge of friendship because I've had a few years to learn and yeah, so let's talk about it. Growing up, you know, you always think that having a lot of friends is like the best thing in the world. The more friends you have, the more popular you, popular you are, and the more people will like you, and the more you'll be in tune with things. Yeah, that's not true. Okay, I feel like having so many friends is not good. Like, you want that, like you see it on TV, and you do see a few girls that have like five best friends, and that's freaking cool, because that like never happens, but at the same time, it's sometimes dangerous, like you've seen girls out there in the news that it was like three best friends, and they true secretly hated this one girl, and they ended up killing her. I mean, not saying that it's going to happen to you, you just never know, but you have to be careful in choosing your friends. Not saying that you have to have only one friend or five friends. Just be careful in choosing your friends. When, when choosing a friend, you have to look uh, for a few things. How they are towards your parents, how they are towards other people, how they are towards you. Um, you don't judge a book by its cover, although sometimes you can. I judge a book by its cover a lot. And I found myself to be wrong most of the time, but most of the time my instincts of just watching them, how they act, have has always been on point. Like, I would bring girls home, and my mom was like, I don't like her. I'm like, why? She's like, ugh, no. She looks odio odiosa. Like, she looks like she's so... Uh, how do I translate this? Like, she's just a bad person. I mean, my mom was always good in sensing that stuff, and... Throughout the years, I've been getting better at that as well. So, um, my friends would have friends, and I'm like, I don't like her. I'm like, I don't like her. I don't like her. And people always thought, because I was jealous. Like, I wanted to be their only friend. I'm like, no. I mean, I just know these things. Like, I just sense it. Like, I don't like her for a reason, and sometimes I wouldn't know what that reason was, but I just wouldn't like her. And then, like, a few years later would pass, and she's like, oh, this girl did this to me, and that to me. I'm like, I told you. I told you, <laughs> like I just know. If someone is like pushing you to do something that you don't want to do, that's not a real friend. Like I've done it before. Like, oh, come, come out to the um, club with us or this party with us. They're like, no, I don't want to. I'm like, oh, you're a loser. Oh, you scared. Like that, I do that jokingly, but I would never push my friend to do something bad. Well, I don't do anything bad, so I wouldn't really push her to do anything bad. Like. I know back in high school people would push you to do drugs and drink and stuff like that. My mom always raised me to be strong and there was always consequences to my actions. So I knew how to stand on my own two feet and say no and not care what others thought. Like if they were going to go um, cut school, okay, cut school, I'm not cutting school. You can cut school, but I don't want to cut school right now. Like I'm good. You want to go smoke weed, whatever, do you, I'm not doing it because I know how people act, I know that it's this, you get a job, they drug test you, and you don't want to go down that, that, um, what is it, that spiral, like, you just never know what that can lead to. You see people doing drugs all the time and their lives are just horrible, so I just always had that in mind, like, I don't want to be like that, so I wouldn't do it, but... Yeah, like, you don't want people to pressure you, if they pressure others, or they talk behind your back. Because they might not talk behind your back, but they'll talk behind other people's back, and that's a no-no. For instance, I had, I think, 
two friends or one friend in particular. I'm not friends with her anymore, and it's not for this reason, but I knew everything about her friends. Every detail, who called the cops on who, who was doing what, who cheated on who, like I knew everything. And I'm like, holy crap, okay. And I would still tell her things about myself. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? I felt like I was different because she trusted me in telling me all these secrets. But then I'm like getting, I got to thinking. I'm like, this, this chick is probably telling everybody else my business. And I know she's a bad person, but I just don't want that stuff out there. Like, I really don't like gossipers. Um, once you start getting in a relationship and it's serious, like me and boys are serious, you, you just stop telling your friends a lot of details of your relationship um because you don't want it out there you know you don't want people gossiping because you could tell your friend you know one story and then she'll tell somebody else another story and then it's like the telephone like it, it just keeps changing the story keeps changing so you just have to be careful in that kind of things um how they treat others if they're gossipers i mean i really don't like that stuff um morals i knew a few girls that are just horrible mothers and back then growing up when I didn't have kids I'm like okay she's a bad mom but whatever like I'd still hang out with her now it's okay I could never ever shit myself being with a bad mom and I know many of you probably judge me saying there's no bad mom there and this and that don't be judgmental to me there are bad moms and you guys know that so someone who doesn't have the same morals as me when it comes to uh, raising their child as in spending time with them and not always partying and, or picking guys over your kids. Like, I can't be friends with somebody like that. I just refuse it. So I feel like someone who has the same morals as you is also a good friend. If you guys are fighting a lot, what the heck are you fighting over? You guys are like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20, 21. Like, what are you fighting over? If it's fighting all the time, that's ridiculous. If it's someone who stole your boyfriend, then that's pretty serious. Um, I wouldn't really try to fix that relationship because I feel like it would be a continuous cycle of her always trying to do that and manipulate you and backstab you. I just wouldn't trust that. I know that's happened to a few of you girls. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. You don't need them around. It's, there's more fish in the sea of friends, you know. Um, hmm. I think that's it. I mean, I think it's a good sum of information for you guys what do you guys value most about having friends like what do you look for i look for someone who's honest who has the same morals who's not manipulative who doesn't peer pressure me to do things i don't want to do i think that's it what do you guys look for i mean i only have honestly and i don't even like labeling people as best friends i don't believe in best friends but if we had to put somebody on that scale i have one best friend and everybody else that are close to me are my good friends. But I consider someone my best friend that if we could just still talk on the phone, text all the time. We don't have to see each other every day or every week. But we're still so close. Our kids talk all the time. And uh, you just have that close-knit relationship. Like, I could be done with her and this and that. Like, I consider that a best friend if I have to label it a best friend, you know. But I'm very picky with her. So, that's basically it. Let me know what you guys thought about that. I want to know what you guys, yeah, what you guys consider a good quality. There we go. A good quality in a friend. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and want more, make sure to thumbs it up. Give this video a thumbs up. I just said that. <laughs> Comment below, subscribe, and share. Buenos dias. Wait. I always say buenas noches on my other channel, but we're not just saying buenas noches. So, 